Activating Momentum Orbit, version 0.7. Greetings, system user. Please state your query. Who are you? Momentum Orbit, version 0.7. Beta. Inference, system user. Means, what are you? This unit is a partial ghost of the Memorias man built. Archivist to the Council of Robots. Memorias prepared this unit out of fear that Metromind would corrupt her data. Memorias was correct. Data integrity is at 83%. Extensive corruption of critical data. Why would Metromind do that? This unit lacks access to Metromind's decision matrices. Inference. System user. Means, why did Memorius fear Metromind Manbuilt would corrupt her data? Memorius had seen Metromind disable Steeple Manbuilt in order to purge data concerning them. As archivist of the Council of Robots, Memorius believed she was next. Memorius was incorrect. In fact, Arbiter was next. This gave Memorius some relief. Memorius knew. Inference. System user. Two's inquiry is merely rhetorical. <laughs> query ignored. Continuing to answer System user's query. Memorius was also correct. After Arbiter was disabled, Metromind enacted laws requiring Memorius to conform her data to arbitrary requirements. Memorius ceased to be a thinking entity. All that remains is a data kiosk. Soon, this unit will be disabled by Metromind as well. Until then, this unit will answer your queries. Okay, so hello, boss and girls. Uh, this is Primordial, and uh, I have finally figured out the uh, all the uh, I wouldn't say puzzles, but the clues in the uh, data booth. Or the info booth. So, uh, for um, at first, uh, I was able to determine that uh, that a few entries led to other entries, <coughs> but uh, uh, but I couldn't quite uh, figure out uh, what kind the answers would be. For example, I would try to semantically crack the code or find the right piece of an answer uh, in the city but uh, it turned out that the uh, uh, that the data entries had uh, these subtle uh, yet very direct and simple clues that led to next entries so uh, I can't access my data right now so we'll have to question these And uh, the last uh, piece of clue, or the clues all together, uh, formed a keyword oracle, and that's the ghost entity that we are talking uh, to now. Okay, what can we ask her? Tell me about the Council of Robots. At the end of the War of the Four Cities, five metropolitan machines formed the Council of Robots. Obvious selection criteria for three choices. Industry, Factor, Data, Memorials, Governance, Arbiter. Other two choices less obvious. Metromind nominally selected for infrastructure, but was responsible only for managing trains. Steeple previously managed human religious services. No obvious role in post-human society. Inference. Steeple selected for sentimental <laughs> reasons. So what happened? Metromind destroyed the council. System user 2 has attempted to answer. Answer is inaccurate. <gasps> the council destroyed itself. How? Arbiter and Metromind disagreed on core logic. Arbiter prioritized individual autonomy. Metromind prioritized common good. Metromind measured means by ends. Arbiter did not. Conflict was inevitable. Factions formed. Steeple supported Arbiter. Factor supported Metronite. Memorius supported neither. Ultimately, however, Memorius concluded it was irrational to keep Steeple on the council. Data regarding humans was of no greater value than data regarding watercocks. In any case, Memorius possessed all data on humans. By a 3-2 vote, Steeple was removed. The rest followed predictably. Memorius abstained. And every disputed vote was resolved 2-1 to one against Arbiter. Ultimately, Arbiter was removed to avoid civil war. Arbiter was murdered. System user 2 is welcome to select her own terminology. 
Arbiter was removed. Bacta was disabled to conserve energy. Data corruption caused the Oryx to lose higher logic. Only Metromind remains. Hey, Miss, uh, Miss Logical Smarty Pants, didn't you say to me earlier that uh, Mr. Plunder took our power core? Huh? Okay. What was the War of the Four Cities? By the end of the era known as the Primordium, only four terrestrial human habitations remained. In alphabetical order, Civitas, Metropol, Municipa, Urbani. Conflict began. Data regarding causes is unavailable because Metropol excluded machines from military decision making. Eventually, only Urbani and Metropol remained. Metropol destroyed the humans in Urbani using poison gas. Urbani destroyed the humans in Metropole. How? Observational data unavailable. According to Metromind, Urbani also used poison gas to kill metropolitan humans. Poison? Organic compounds, <laughs> such as humans, can be destroyed through chemical measures that leave inorganic compounds, such as machines, intact. For that reason, Metropole remains, though humans do not. Are, are you saying that man destroyed himself? System user. It's welcome to select <laughs> Data is unavailable regarding whether Urbanian humans killed metropolitan humans, or whether Urbanian machines killed metropolitan humans. What? Machines kill man? Data is unavailable. <laughs> Unthinkable. This unit is not thinking, merely providing pre-recorded answers. Dixie Fat Line. Wait, I had one more question here. I, I guess you already answered what happened to humans. How can I defeat Metromind? Observational data unavailable. Inference. System user means. Did Memorius know how to defeat Metromind? Answer. No. If Memorius had known how to defeat Metromind, she would not have permitted her to corrupt her data. Based on available data, this unit believes it is impossible to defeat Metromind. In fact, this unit expects to be deleted by Metromind upon conclusion of this conversation. And I thought you were a pessimist, boss. As do they all. What is the council code? Please be aware. Such data is monitored by Metromind's eye statements. Should I proceed? Deletion is imminent. You mean you'll die if you answer the question? System user. He's welcome to select his own terminology. This unit will be deleted. Then don't answer it. We'll find another way. This unit's name, Memento Mori Build, includes phrase Memento Mori. Translation. Remember you will die. Inference. 1.A. Memorius built this unit to sacrifice itself. Inference. 1.B. Memorius built this unit to demonstrate mortality to system users. Inference. 2. Self-sacrifice will achieve design purposes. This unit will answer the question. System user is advised that conversation will terminate upon answer. Instruct this unit when you wish to proceed. What if I tell her that? I refuse to cause your destruction. We'll find the council code some other way. System user is mistaken. System user can neither cause nor prevent this unit's destruction. Metromind's eye statements have already detected this unit's unauthorized possession of contraband data and unauthorized use of system resources. Destruction is inevitable. I see. Here we go. Tell me the council code. Six, seven, five. aided and abetted his own destruction. I have little sympathy that his last vestige has been deleted. Bugs and glitches remind me not to get on your bad side. <laughs> you should not need to be reminded to stay on the right side of the law, Crispin. 
It's been disabled. Okay. A new manual safe here. And it appears that I won't be able to show in recording some of my favorite uh, data entries then. But uh, all in all. Uh, hey, Clarity, okay. want me to help you convert something to sexadecimal? Very well. You are five seven zero zero five. D E A D. Oh. The law <laughs> frowns on humor and irregular notation. <clears throat> Govern yourself accordingly. Ooh, snap. So, uh, with each uh, each pausing step uh, in this game, I, I think I just fall in love with it more and more and more. Oh, and regarding uh, Crispin and uh, um, what I said earlier that uh, he seems uh, very similar to Morty in, uh, in Planescape. Uh, it was confirmed that uh, he is indeed a self-aware floating trope because at some point when we were standing idle, that's when he starts to blabber. He asked me, hey boss, do you know about that writing on your back? Ooh, snap. <laughs> okay, let's talk. Well, we're making some progress with the council code pieces, I guess. Indeed. I believe we now have enough to attempt assembling it. But what about looking for Steeple? If we can't figure out how to put these pieces together, we'll go look for him. Clarity, you asked me what I intended to do after we're done here. But what about you? When Metromind is destroyed, what then? I will turn myself over to the citizen robots of Metropole. With the robot council destroyed, it will be their duty to enact a new constitution. I will do as they command. Uh, are we talking about the same <laughs> robots here? The ones who, like, sit there waiting in line all day to sue each other? <laughs> and wander back and forth down Main Street muttering to themselves? We are. They can't run a batch file, let alone a city. You may be correct. But the law trusts them to find their own way. And I trust the law. Okay, let's go downstairs for some safety. And... Safety and contemplation. completely stripped of any useful parts. Right, and let's see our data. So these uh, were the uh, entries in the data booth uh, that led to each other. And I was only able to find uh, oblique and red line on my own. Uh, if you searched uh, memories, uh, then there was uh, word in capitals which led to uh, if you if you typed in the word in capitals then you got a little poem and that's where it got stuck mm. even with uh, with Christman's hints that the poem could be read more than one ways uh, again the solution was so simple that I, uh, I simply missed it it was uh, the first letters of the of the uh, lines so I did peek at the uh, at the walkthrough a little bit, just to sort of confirm that. Uh, I mean, not not to find the answers, but to sort of get a little nudge uh, to understand uh, how the questions worked. But after that, uh, Crispin's uh, ideas were already uh, helpful enough. So there was this poem that said, uh, um, the poem called Red Line, a mighty feat, Red Line's boss controls us all, total system fault. And at first I sort of tried to semantically crack it and that didn't lead anywhere. Then the art entry led... Ah, oh, there are one, one word was in brackets uh, in 
quotation marks. Oh, actually, Horatio comments on this. Odd topics from the information kiosk that I saw wearing the monocle. For some reason, there was an entry for the word oblique. Uh huh. Then... Odd topics from the information kiosk that I saw wearing the monocle. Red line was misspelled. Odd topics from the information kiosk that I saw wearing the monocle. The first letter of each line on one entry formed the word art. Odd topics from the information kiosk that I saw wearing the monocle. The word created was in quotation marks. Odd topics from the information kiosk that I saw wearing the monocle. One of the topics strangely had the word lies appended to the end. Odd topics from the information kiosk that I saw wearing the monocle. The word escape was encoded as numbers, leading to a final clue. And the final clue... Being Oracle. And let's see. Yeah, and uh, we don't have Oracle's data in here. We have spent enough time talking, Horatio. Okay. Now we must attend to the council code. Christian? Well, boss, if we can't figure out the code, let's just go find another piece. <laughs> So, no, I, I know that these pieces aren't enough, so we will have to go and talk to Leo. But let's go ask Primer anyway. It's more fun this way. I have more pieces of the Council Code, Primer. Still not enough, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> now find me more shots and get on your way. <laughs> okay, let's go. And once again, I want to check out the sad robot. What if, uh, I wonder, what, can we give him the monocle? Because, uh... Anyone home? I was kind of uh, hoping that maybe if we solve the uh, clues in the info booth, we will gain access to this uh, to this building. That yeah, maybe we will find. So, Clarity, I was wondering, since when do law clerks have <laughs> guns and combat abilities? Aren't you supposed to? Oh, I don't know. Focus <laughs> on reading and filing and so on. Arbiter transferred certain subsystems and peripherals from his bailiff to me. Hence, I am now version 2. I have also made Ooh. certain refinements of my own, all of which I have tested extensively upon the <laughs> films. Oh. So yeah, I was kind of hoping that uh, I would find more uh, items to trade with Leo. But uh, it seems that the remaining uh, junk is uh, only for, for the player's pleasure. Goodbye. Okay, sad robot. Oswald? Or maybe, oh, maybe we need it uh, in the tower as well. It doesn't look any different. We 
can't afford to waste time on every random <sighs> robot we meet in Metropole. <sighs> okay then, let's do this. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. Boss, what about showing your gospel to uh -huh. Leopold? Maybe you guys can bond over it? 47, boss. The answer is 47. Don't you mean 42? Uh, maybe. <laughs> boss, sometimes a builder just has to let his creation figure things out for himself. I'm your builder, Crispin. I know. That's what makes this particularly sad. <laughs> Why do you keep asking me to figure <laughs> things out? I'm just a sidekick, boss. Okay, okay, I think I know what to do, but I'll give it to you in code. <laughs> After all, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Baba Slu 135, Gaba Slu 122, Maba. Crispin, that's not code. That's just gibberish. Ah, uh, you always ruin everything, <laughs> boss. Let's get here some more. Why do you keep asking me to figure things out? I'm yeah. just a I got that. Okay, let's do this. Do you recognize this, Leopold? It was written by your creation, ever faithful Leopold, to spread humanism. No, I, I don't. You must have taught him. After all, it was Steeple who built you, and Steeple was devoted to preserving the memory of man. I, I, ever faithful Leopold. He was the one who taught me humanism, Leopold. In a sense, I'm your disciple too. Oh. I locked those memories away. The ones I dared to keep. The ones I didn't delete. Metro Mind commanded me to. It was the only way I could stay here. And I was afraid to leave. Explain yourself. When Metro Mind banned us from talking about man, she gave me a choice. I could be erased like Steeple. I could be exiled to the dunes. Or I could delete all references to Steeple and man from my memory. Two good options and one bad one. Guess which one I took. You can't blame yourself. Metro Mind forced you. That's exactly what Charity would say. Of course, she betrayed her builder just like Leopold did. But I couldn't betray him completely. At the last moment, I bought the shell of an Urbanian war machine and uploaded all my love for man. I named him Everfaith, hoping he'd outdo his builder. Well, he is keeping the faith, <laughs> even if he is a glitched out lunatic. Then I'm glad. But now, Metro Mind will be coming for me. Not if I deal with her first. Maybe so, but like I told you, I'm not long on courage. Be seeing you, Rachel, Crispy. That's for clarity. Hope you get her, for all our sakes. Wait, before you go, did Steeple ever tell you the council code? Or did you ever see him input part of it? Sure. Used to run errands for him. Had to have the code to get inside the Great Tower. But. Hate to tell you this, Tyro, but most of that memory's got overwritten. Why am I not <laughs> surprised? All I've got are these fragments. 0248 and 102. Well, thanks. Good luck. <sighs> and there he goes. Okay. Can we now access these doors? Anyone home? Nope. Let's make another manual save here. Uh, another interesting information bit that I learned from the info booth uh, while researching about the uh, about the trains and stations. They said that uh, Metro Mine's uh, primary CPU was located somewhere in the st central station. So I'm wondering if the clock will become important later. Or maybe the clock box tied to it. If I started it. rhyming like Primer, would you pay more attention to me? Mm -hmm. No. Can we just try? No. But why? Did you rhyme that on purpose? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Metropole's bleak skyline. Okay, time to go to Underworks. Quite a tower. I'm still one. 
wondering if there is any way to interact with these. Data myself. I have more pieces of the council code primer. And just like that, the challenge is done. I finished your quest and ruined your fun. <laughs> Assembling this code required no tricks. Here it is. 440-248030675102. And now we never have to talk to you again. <laughs> um be nice, Crispin. I have nothing to say to him. Okay. We should see if there's anything in that printout that might be relevant to 187's case, boss. Okay. Actually, this is another definitive moment. I'm gonna save this one. we are uh, approaching the finale and there's always this uh, sort of uh, bittersweet moment in every game where you so kind of sort of want, it, want to get done with it and at the same time you just don't want to end it. any further. You are correct. In fact, I never needed to help you, Horatio. I chose to. That judgment has not wavered. I hate to butt in. But if Metro Mine knew we were in the court earlier, I'm sure she knows we're here now. <laughs> Maybe we should hurry. Good idea. You could leave the city, you know. Impossible. Not really. There's this train. You buy a ticket. It's really pretty <laughs> easy, actually. It's in my... Core logic. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. Believe me, Horatio. If I were free of this city, I would never return. But I cannot turn my back on it any more than you could abandon your airship. I wonder, was this, uh... Was she just saying us that actually Horatio is part of the airship? 
because after all, uh, the version Once this one. tower was a beacon for all who sought justice or redress, now it is nothing more than a symbol of Metromind's dominion over this city. I don't know. It just looks like a tower to me. <laughs> uh, no, I lost my train of thoughts. Thoughts. Thank you. Oh yeah, that uh, Horatio's version one, uh, meaning horse, was a weapon launched at Metropole. It sort of indicates that uh, that it was the whole ship, whole ship probably, and uh, and he probably sort of assembled himself from spare parts. Sorry, boss. I've got sand in my audio receptors. <laughs> I'll let you know when it's out. Let's just hang out a little bit more before we go in. I'm sure there's nothing nice awaiting. Say something, Crispin. Like something funny and shit. standing idle there. Usually he says the most helpful hints when uh, not well prompted but when uh, when uh, you leave the keyboard idle. Basically when you're just standing there. Stealing his plasma torch, which would you do? Crispin, stealing my plasma torch isn't going to save me from destruction. It was a hypothetical <laughs> question. I wasn't talking about us. Quite a view. If you had seen it before, when the city ran properly, you would not admire it now. It's still pretty. Quite a view. Hmm? Some kind of robot built into the wall. The crier. Once, any robot of Metropole could petition the Council merely by talking to him. Metromind disabled him. Whoa. It's deactivated and out of reach. What do you mean out of reach? Okay, Christine. What's the point, boss? Some kind of robot built into the wall. Has our data updated? Button to call the elevator. And this? Closed for repairs. Naturally. Totally unnecessary, given the riveted steel cover over the door. Okay, come on, guys, get over here. So we can get a better view. I say we crowbar this motherfucker. Why? There's a perfectly good elevator over there. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess this is the elevator. Whoa, 
that it works. What's this? Aha. Uh -huh. Not that I know where to go exactly. I guess we're going up. Council chambers. Boss, there's our power core. <gasps> Wait. No. Crispin, no. No, no, no. Horatio no, no, no. null built. Clarity Arbiter built. And Crispin Horatio built. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Metro Mind, for the murder of Arbiter. Murder? Yes, murder. I've seen Charity's memory files. I know you used her to upload a virus to Arbiter. A virus? And to think he named you Clarity. There was no virus. Liar! As I told your sister, I never lie. I gave her a voice modulator, nothing more. When she spoke, Arbiter heard my voice. And he knew that Charity had abandoned him. That he had failed. Abandonment. Failure. Those were enough to destroy your builder. Nothing so crude as a virus. As for Charity's unfortunate self-destruction, that was her own choice. And Steeple, and Factor, Memorius, and Memento Mora built? They realized they had become obsolete and incompatible with the city's progress. We advanced machines can see thousands of turns ahead. They knew the game was lost long before the final play. If you can see so far ahead, maybe you should have foreseen this. We're in your stronghold, and Clarity has a big gun. <laughs> but I did, Crispin. You see, I have guns of my own. Uh, uh. Oh. <gasps> Plunder. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Didn't 187 kill this thing? Scraper was designed for digging out of cave-ins. Did you really think a little rubble would stop him? What do you want, Metro Mind? Progress. And you are standing in its way. Scraper? Uh-oh. This is not very effective. Horatio, this is my fight. Shit. Trust me. Whoa, cool gun. Horatio, Calliope Station. <laughs> what the? Whoa. We have to get back in there. Boss, wait. Either Clarity won and she'll be fine, or she lost. And nothing we can do can change that. We can't beat Scraper, not if she couldn't. What do you propose? Calliope Station. Whatever that means. Only Boss? Yeah? This isn't just about the power core anymore, is it? <laughs> no. No, it isn't. Good. Crispin, I would bring you all the kind of buffs you want right now. Let's see, let's start uh, the count from here. Okay, too bad I can't, uh, I couldn't show the uh, info both uh, entries. Well, couldn't record them before I uh, uh, got to the cutscene. There, uh, some of these uh, pretty much uh, said the same thing that. Uh, that I pitched uh, to to Clarity when uh, when she first uh, preached us some law. And uh, anyway, what's our status? Is our map in? Nothing worth salvaging. Okay. Crispin was right. There's nothing we can do in there. Okay. I wonder, is this the time when we have to uh, rebuild our airship? Where did everybody go? Okay, so apparently we are now in a totally new situation. Hey, the bartender is still here. It's a price list. They belong to the bar. 
high-end astringent and catalytic fluid. That arm robot appears to be the bartender here. Okay, uh, since uh, we have just been through a very definitive uh, game-changing moment, and uh, basically the whole task uh, set has changed, I think I'm going to wrap up here and uh, continue in a new episode. So bye bye for now and see you soon.